The 2026 Formula One regulations have sparked significant debate among engineers, analysts, and fans. The FIA's latest renders provide a glimpse into the design principles that will shape the future of the sport. A future where technical freedom and diversity in car aesthetics aim to prevent the homogeneity of identikit designs. Let's explore the nuanced changes, their technical implications, and how they align with the overarching goals of competitive balance and innovation. One of the central themes of the 2026 regulations is to better utilize aerodynamic potential while granting designers more latitude. The FIA's renders depict a car that retains the familiar silhouette but incorporates pivotal changes to key components. While these renders are broad in scope, teams will undoubtedly take aggressive approaches to differentiate their designs within these guidelines. The outboard section of the front wing represents one of the most noticeable changes. The new regulations eliminate the vertical fin on the footplate, replacing it with a dive plane attached to a slender end plate. This modification increases design flexibility in managing airflow around the car's front, allowing teams to experiment with profiles and cord widths. The potential for varying end plate configurations is a nod to the current diversity seen on the grid, where no two team solutions are alike. Fully enclosed wheel rim covers, a hallmark of the current generation, will be replaced with a disc solution. By exposing the central section of the wheel rim, this design shift introduces new challenges and opportunities in managing cooling and aerodynamic wake. The ripple effects of this change will likely be profound, influencing tyre performance and how airflow interacts with the car's rear. The underfloor remains the primary source of downforce in modern F1, and the 2026 rules reflect a commitment to refining this area. The addition of five fences at the leading edge of the floor promises greater control over incoming airflow, offering designers a platform to optimize underfloor surfaces. The render also shows a move away from the stepped floor arrangement, favoring a flat surface. This alteration, coupled with an increased diffuser volume and a forward kick line, enhances the car's potential to generate stable downforce. The inclusion of a gurney flap ahead of the rear tire further helps manage turbulence, a critical factor in maintaining aerodynamic efficiency. One of the standout features of the new renders is the three-element spoon-shaped rear wing assembly. This design departs from the flat configuration seen in earlier concepts, suggesting an emphasis on reducing drag while maintaining downforce. The underwing-mounted swan neck pillars add another layer of individuality, allowing teams to tailor their aerodynamic strategies. These changes collectively aim to boost the adaptability of designs while preserving the active wing's functionality. The incorporation of cooling louves at the junction between the side pod and engine cover signals continuity with current regulations while introducing refinements. Effective cooling remains paramount, especially as power unit and aerodynamic advancements push thermal limits. Teams will need to balance these cooling demands with aerodynamic efficiency, a challenge that rewards ingenuity. The 2026 regulations strive to strike a delicate balance between promoting competitive parity and fostering design freedom. Early concerns about the aerodynamic limitations of the new rules have been addressed with these updates. By introducing more variables, such as the diverse treatment of the floor, wings and cooling, the FIA aims to ensure that no two cars are identical. The collaborative approach between the FIA and teams reflects a shared commitment to keeping the sport's engineering challenges alive. Designers now have multiple avenues to express creativity, whether through unique aerodynamic interpretations or innovations in mechanical design. For teams, the 2026 regulations mark both a challenge and an opportunity. The freedom to explore diverse design philosophies will likely lead to a greater disparity in car concepts, 
at least in the early years of the new era. This could lead to a reinvigoration of technical competition, where teams like Red Bull and Mercedes might prioritise aerodynamic efficiency, while others like Ferrari or Aston Martin explore mechanical innovations. Moreover, the new rules will require teams to rethink their simulation tools and wind tunnel models. The introduction of elements like floor fences and revised diffuser geometries demands a comprehensive understanding of airflow behaviour. Teams that excel in integrating these changes into their development cycles will likely gain a competitive edge. The transition to the 2026 regulations is expected to catalyze significant shifts in competitive dynamics. Smaller teams may find opportunities to close the gap with their well-funded rivals by exploiting niche design freedoms. Conversely, leading teams will leverage their resources to push the boundaries of innovation. From a storytelling perspective, the diversity in car designs will add an element of unpredictability to the sport. Fans can look forward to seeing a grid where each car not only performs differently, but also looks distinct. This aligns with the FIA's goal of enhancing the sport's spectacle, both on and off the track. The 2026 Formula One regulations embody a bold vision for the future of motorsport by granting teams greater freedom in key areas while maintaining a framework that ensures competitive balance, the FIA is setting the stage for a new era of innovation and excitement. As teams embark on this journey, the sport's rich tradition of technical ingenuity will undoubtedly continue to flourish, offering fans a spectacle that combines engineering brilliance with wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.